Hello, all of my beautiful friends out there in YouTube land. It is Saturday morning and we have a busy, busy day. And it's going to start with dropping the kids off at church this morning for their big dress rehearsal for the children's play coming up. Then we're going to get back here to the homestead and get some work done. Come along for the ride. Sounds like the neighbor needs a new muffler. Well, I'm finally getting outside today, getting ready to cut my grass. You can probably hear my neighbor on the other side of the fence over there. She's cutting her grass too. It's just a good day to get some things done outside, like cutting the grass, you know what I mean? Sun is shining, it's about 75 degrees because it's not too hot yet. I just spend the first two hours of my day crawling around my attic, trying to fix the insulation around some of our AC ducting. A couple years ago, we had some rats up in our attic and they chewed away the insulation off of some of our duct work. So now in the summertime when it's really humid and we're running the air conditioner, we get some condensation build up and then that's dripping down and getting the, uh, the, the drywall on the ceiling, getting it all wet and stained. So I gotta get that fixed. Um, wasn't able to fix it because there ain't no room in my attic for me to crawl around and uh, get new insulation wrapped up. So I'm gonna have to get some spray foam insulation and squirt it from afar off, uh, try to get it sealed up that way. So that's another project for another day. Wasted my first two hours of my day. I gotta get my grass cut, so check this out. See this grass out here? Oh, let me flip the camera around. Okay, you see how crazy tall this grass is here? Guys, I cut this like five days ago. But out here, this is where the horses used to stay. So it's like super fertile. And then this grass up here in the yard, it's, it's a little shaggy, but it's not too bad. This hasn't been cut in like, two, two and a half weeks. That's how crazy fertile this land is out here. Just this area, this is where they used to hang out all the time. This had about a foot of just composted horse manure uh, on top of it. And that's why I chose to put the uh, gardens out here. Seems to be working out all right. I'm gonna do a quick run through the garden real quick before I get started, because I already see a lot of nice big ripe squash and zucchini. I need plucking before the worms get to them. All right, I had to take a quick break there. My neighbor was having some problems with her mower. But we're gonna get that figured out for her. Can't get the mower to start. But I'll get her grass cut for today because I'm about to cut mine too. There's a nice zucchini right there. All right, here's today's garden hall. We got three squash and one zucchini. The flies are out today and they're killing me. We just finished cutting the neighbor's grass because the mower broke down. I don't say that because I want no credit from nobody. I don't want nobody telling me, oh, you're such a good guy, Devin. I don't need all that. But the only reason I mentioned it is because I just want to maybe possibly inspire somebody to go out there and do something for somebody today. Do something that's going to benefit somebody else and not just yourself without wanting anything in return, expecting anything in return or anything like that. Just do it. Just give. The Word of God tells you. Give and it shall be given unto you, pressed down, shaken together, overflowing. So I don't need nobody to tell me I did a good thing. God's got me on this. You get out there and you go do something good for somebody too. Ken's practicing driving the uh, tractor there. The tractor. The lawnmower. So I was out here and these bugs were killing me. So Ken brought me a dryer sheet and I've been rubbing it on my ears where the gnats like to get and all over my head. And the gnats are like almost 99% gone.
Well, next thing on the agenda for the day is getting this pile of lumber here cleaned up. It's been here since we started construction on the carport. Even though I'm not quite finished with the carport, I'm sick of looking at it. It's gotta go, I gotta clean this place up. And if and when I need to get a little bit more of this lumber out, I'll just go get the pieces I need. Mama's gonna be so happy! <laughs> This has taken way too long. It's time to invoke the power of time lapse. There, now that's looking better. The next thing on the list to do is to clean up this little concrete deposit my, con my concrete man left for me. Got some there. We got a bunch of it right up that way. Got a bunch right there. Gotta get all this old concrete up and get it moved back out. Alright, we are all done with this. Might get a few more of them little rocks out of there. Got all this concrete cleaned up slowly but surely. Yes, some days on the homestead are easier than others. Well, we'll get another set of these concrete rounds for our friends at church. When you're hauling concrete, ugh, that does not make for an easy day. But, it's for a good friend of ours. She's been real good to us. She watches all our videos. She shares them on Facebook. And I appreciate her. I'm gonna show us some love. Well, you guys, it's been a great day on the Hewitt Homestead. I'm so glad that you joined us. You know, as I'm sitting here thinking about the day and the different things we've done and talked about today, I gotta say there seems to be one reoccurring theme, and that is uh, to give. You know, give and it shall be given back unto you. Press down, shaken together. That's a promise from the Word of God. Hey guys, usually I encourage you to go out there and do something to make your life better work on a garden, go spend time with your family, whatever goals that you have, do a little bit of something to get you closer to accomplishing that goal. But today, let me encourage you guys, I want you all to go out there and find somebody else to serve. Find a way that you can give to someone else. Doesn't have to be money, usually time, conversation. Maybe some junk you got laying around the house that you don't need anymore, it's junk to you. But somebody else could really use it. You know, while I was just uh, doing a little work over there by the carport, one of my neighbors walked up in my yard, stopped and talked with us for a while. Wanted to know if we could use an old child's dresser because he knows we have kids. I, we, we can't use it right now, but uh, it was, I mean, how awesome is that, man? It was just, it was so encouraging and uplift to have him walk over and to offer to give us a dresser. I mean, that's awesome. That's incredible. We need more of that in this world, people. 
And if you start doing that more in your life, you're going to find that those kind of things start happening back to you more in your life. So that's my little sermon for the day. Guys, it's been a lot of work, but it's been a lot of fun. And I'm so glad that you are here with me and following along and going on this journey with us a little bit every day, getting closer and closer to those dreams and those goals that we have. And you guys are making it so much fun. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I love you guys. Don't forget to like it, subscribe to it, and share it. I'll see you again tomorrow, guys.